Firefly Aerospace is in the process of expanding its capabilities with the hope to become a frequent and reliable launch provider. Current examples include work on the new medium launch vehicle, or MLV, an increased alpha launch cadence, and now a new acquisition. Specifically, just yesterday, Firefly announced they are acquiring Spaceflight Industries. This offers more services to the company and makes Firefly more than just a launch provider. In regard to this, we've seen Rocket Lab lead down this path of vertical integration with the acquisition of multiple companies. Over time, this process has become one of the main revenue sources for that company and is only expected to grow. Firefly sees a similar opportunity and believes this could be an important part of the company's future. Here I'll go more in depth into the new acquisition, Firefly's upcoming launch schedule, what to expect in the coming months, and more. In the past few months, we haven't heard too much from Firefly despite the fact that the company has a lot on its plate. Yesterday, however, Firefly tweeted saying, Big news today. Firefly is acquiring Spaceflight Incorporated to further grow our on-orbit capabilities and service the entire life cycle of our customers' payloads. The acquisition is intended to support Firefly's portfolio of low-cost space transportation services, including responsive launch and in-space mobility, on-orbit hosting and servicing, and lunar delivery operations. Terms of the transaction were not disclosed. This acquisition is a result of Firefly's business plan to strengthen the company through organic growth in addition to accelerating its capabilities with strategic acquisitions, said Bill Weber, CEO of Firefly Aerospace. The combination of Spaceflight's on-orbit experience with Firefly's launch vehicles, Blue Ghost landers, and space utility vehicles is an overnight game-changer for our customers and investors, he said. As far as what exactly the company has to offer, Spaceflight's orbital vehicles provide payload deliveries, hosting, and transfer services. With extensive expertise in mission management and selling and filling manifests, the company has also supported the deployment of more than 460 payloads into space. Spaceflight operates manufacturing and payload processing facilities in Bellevue, Washington, including state-of-the-art clean rooms, environmental testing capabilities, and large high bays for concurrent spacecraft production. This facility features a manufacturing capacity of 14,000 square feet, including a 2,000 square foot clean room with the capacity to process 5-plus Sherpa OTVs at once, with anywhere from 4 to 20 satellites assigned per Sherpa. With a high market demand for our on-orbit services and rapid response missions, this acquisition uniquely positions Firefly to respond immediately to our customers' needs, said Weber. We look forward to welcoming this team into our incredible Firefly family. The addition of Spaceflight brings added capabilities that complement Firefly's vertically integrated product line, including launch, lunar, and in-space vehicles. Firefly's Alpha launch vehicle is manifested through 2023 with the U.S. Space Force, NASA, and other commercial customers, as the company concurrently builds a new medium launch vehicle in collaboration with Northrop Grumman. Firefly's Blue Ghost lunar lander is scheduled to complete the first of two missions to the moon next year with NASA as an anchor customer, and Firefly's space utility vehicle has a mission scheduled early next year to demonstrate the vehicle's on-orbit capabilities. They are focused on delivering responsive, reliable, and affordable space access for government and commercial customers. The company is hoping that their small to medium lift launch vehicles, space utility vehicles, and Blue Ghost Lunar Lander provide the space industry with a single source for emissions from LEO to the surface of the moon and beyond. Focusing more on the acquisition, Spaceflight has launched hundreds of satellites for customers, working with nearly every launch vehicle provider in the world. They specialize in offering a one-stop launch experience, from the initial capacity procurement to integration, export, shipping, licensing, and more. They acquire capacity and provide rideshare services on all commercially competitive launch vehicles within the limits of U.S. export regulations. This includes the Falcon 9, Versus Soyuz, Arian Space Vega, Virgin Orbit Launcher 1, Rocket Lab Electron, and others. As partially mentioned prior, Firefly has a lot going on right now as they attempt to grow the company and its options. For one, next year in 2024, the first Blue Ghost mission is set to happen. For months now, we've seen payloads being delivered to Firefly as they prepare for the mission. In addition, earlier this year, Firefly was awarded a $112 million NASA contract to deliver multiple lunar payloads in 2026. As Firefly's second task order, one under NASA's Commercial Lunar Payload Services, or CLPS, initiative, the company will use its Blue Ghost spacecraft in a two-stage configuration to first place a satellite into lunar orbit and then deliver two research payloads on the far side of the moon. The NASA-provided payloads Firefly is delivering will advance lunar research and infrastructure in conjunction with NASA's Moon to Mars roadmap. Before landing on the moon, the company's Blue Ghost transfer vehicle will deploy the European Space Agency's Lunar Pathfinder satellite into lunar orbit to provide communications for future spacecraft, robots, and human explorers. 
After touching down on the far side of the moon, the Blue Ghost Lunar Lander will deliver and operate NASA's S-band user terminal, ensuring uninterrupted communications for lunar exploration, and a research-focused payload that measures radio emissions to provide insight into the origins of the universe. Moving on, Firefly just completed risk reduction testing for Miranda engine components ahead of the first hot fire scheduled this summer. As a larger, scaled-up version of the company's Reaver engines, Miranda will power the medium launch vehicle, MLV, Firefly is co-developing with Northrop Grumman. The risk reduction testing was successfully completed for Miranda's main fuel valve and the throttle valve hot seal design. The hot seal was tested several times during routine reaver engine hot fires. Due to the commonality of Firefly's engine designs, the team can conduct robust flight-like testing and validate performance for both Alpha and MLV. With 230,000 pounds of thrust, Miranda is building on the success of Lightning and Reaver with proven engine scalability. Miranda uses the same engine architecture, injector design, and patented tap-off cycle as the Reaver and Lightning engines that power Firefly's orbital alpha vehicle. Miranda also incorporates a scaled-up version of Reaver's turbo pump, fluid systems, and valve technology. The company used extensive data from more than 500 Reaver and Lightning engine tests, accounting for more than two hours of runtime, to scale the Miranda engines and improve reliability. Finally, Alpha is getting ready for a few more missions. Late last year, the company announced that they had been selected by the U.S. Space Force's Space Systems Command, or SSC, to provide launch services for SSC's Victus Knox mission. The effort was awarded as a Tactically Responsive Space Launch Service Task Order under the Orbital Services Platform 4 contract. The Victus Knox mission will demonstrate an end-to-end -end tactically responsive space capability, including the launch segment, space segment, ground segment, and non-orbit operations. Victus Knox will perform a space domain awareness mission from low Earth orbit. The goal of this program is to bolster the United States' responsive space capabilities, allowing for the fast deployment of satellites during a conflict. This award comes on the heels of Firefly's most recent orbital flight, which the company considered a success. The company is also preparing for its upcoming Alpha flight, currently being integrated to carry the NASA VCLS Demo-2 payload. They even have a Demo Space Utility Vehicle launch planned. Launched aboard the Alpha vehicle, Firefly Space Utility Vehicle, or SUV, is hoping to demonstrate on-orbit services post-launch and flexible payload deployments when and where customers need them. Firefly Aerospace is getting ready for more missions and work than ever before as progress continues. The recent acquisition is a big deal and will add to what the company is capable of doing and providing to others. We will have to wait and see how it progresses and the impact it has on the space industry. Thank you very much for watching.